Welcome to, to uh, today's webinar for Alibi Cloud VS. Uh, my name is Keith Becker. I'm a Senior Product Manager here at Alibi Security. Um, today's webinar is going to run about 30 minutes. We're going to cover hopefully 20 minutes on the topics for today's discussion. Um, we'll finish that up with hopefully some uh, Q&A at the very end. Um, if you have questions as we go through the presentation today, please use your go to webinar tools and type those in so we can get to those at the end of the uh, session. If for some reason we don't cover any questions you may have asked, we'll follow up with you after the webinar today uh, via email. Uh, post webinar, look for some email uh, emails to come out with some links to some of the content FAQs that we have running. Please go online and visit the uh, Alibi Security website. We have an entire section devoted to the uh, Alibi Cloud VS solution. Um, and lastly, I'll remind you multiple times: please call your account rep for a live demo. So, in today's agenda, I'm going to do a brief overview of the Cloud VS solution uh, for those that are new, just so you know what we're talking about uh, for, for, I should say, for the topics. Uh, second, we're going to cover how you can use this solution as a complementing solution to traditional security systems with DVRs and NVRs on site, um, followed by how to use uh, multi-user applications with the platform. So uh, Alibi Cloud VS is a video as a service solution. Uh, we call this a Canberra Cloud video surveillance solution, and that is because there is no on-site recorder. You install cloud-supported cameras onto a customer's network. Those cameras stream directly to the cloud for storage and for management. And uh, it's designed to be easy to manage because you have direct access for all your features via desktop application or mobile application for multiple operating systems, whether it be Windows, Mac OS X, iOS, or Android. Uh, we've worked with uh, Eagle Eye Networks, who is a global provider in cloud video surveillance technology, one of the first to go after a, a cloud-first mentality in our industry. Um, again, we store the video footage uh, directly in an ultra-secure cloud environment, um, which allows us to continue to uh, engineer this solution in real time. Uh, so when you we put an Alibi Cloud VS solution in place, it's always going to be cutting edge with the most reliability, scalability, most cyber secure updates uh, to give you a solution that's simple, scalable, and secure. So the first topic for today uh, is going to be complementing on-premise video security solutions. So when we think about uh, video security in general, we have traditional solutions where you're going to install a DVR or an NVR on site with cameras running to those. Um, and a lot of people think I've got to put that in place or I have to choose, um, say, an off-premise cloud-based solution. They are independent solutions. Um, but what we wanted to do was uh, tell you that there are a lot of applications where you can blend these together in the same environment. Okay. So when we think about complementing solutions, the Alibi Cloud VS cameras are independent from a traditional system. Um, so they're going to be a separate stream, separate storage, separate interface. Uh, now, how that would work to really uh, coincide with the traditional quarter is you may go into an environment where they just don't have the, uh, the bandwidth required to do, say, a certain number of cameras into the cloud. Because the cloud solution does stream directly in full time, we do have to take into account ISP speeds when you pitch that uh, overall proposal. Um, so if you're running into an environment where they don't want to put the infrastructure in place or they just may not have it available, you may need to go in and put it on premise recorder. Uh, but what you can do is put one or two additional cloud cameras at the same location. That's going to add additional security uh, for theft or damage of the on-premise reporters. You can actually have cameras looking at the reporters, which is a common application. Um, it also can help you reduce the upfront cost uh, for traditional systems. So there may be a long-term retention need, which we'll cover uh, in some of the applications today, uh, that the customer may just not have the budget up front to pay for a certain number of hard drives or a box that can support the capacity they need to reach their uh, their desired outcome, um, and increasing storage with the uh, with this solution is uh, is a lot simpler because the hard drives are not located on site. You're not having to worry about planning that out for the customer uh, on their physical location. So we're going to cover a couple of challenges uh, on how the solution might uh, might be best applied. So when we think about a traditional system, may not be able to be secured in a locked location, controlled environment, could be exposed to theft. So when you walk into a lot of small businesses, most of the time those businesses don't have a secure office or back room that is going to be completely locked down where only a handful of people have access to it. Um, so one, you're having to build that out, whether that be a lockbox solution, an enclosed rack, um, or depending upon how large of the organization, you may have to build an actual IDF closet that has secure climate controls to make sure that the uh, reporter on site is going to be secure from physical access as well as temperature and dust control so that uh, the hard drives are not going to be put in a bad state. Um, so a solution that you can do with this is go and install a traditional system. Um, that small business may want to put that recorder on their desk and have someone play with the mouse, control the local interface, do all the reviews. 
you can actually have a cloud camera and they're looking at that reporter. So in the event that someone does possibly kind of rob the location, they come in, they find the reporter, they may be able to take that reporter, damage it, an employee may be able to come in and accidentally trip over a power cord, unplug it, camera goes offline, cloud solution is going to have that video stored in the cloud. So even though that local hard drive is kind of tampered with or gone or cameras are unplugged, you still have footage of what took place and you don't have to worry about someone being able to tamper with that evidence because it is not on site. Uh, another common challenge are legal requirements. So in certain uh, in industries, you're going to have requirements that mandate how long footage has to be stored, where it has to be stored. Uh, recently, a good example of this is in the cannabis industry. So cannabis laws in most states are going to have very specific storage requirements, whether it be on-site coverage for a certain amount of time, as well as off-site storage requirements. And the off-site storage requirements um, in, in most of these states actually require you to look at the physical location where the reporter is, is located to make sure it is, in a, it is meeting the physical guidelines that are put in place and mandated on physical security. So if you were to put a traditional system in place, you could add one cloud camera, two cloud cameras, three, they're gonna make sure that they're getting that video offsite for the number of days that they need, as well as making sure that they're meeting all the mandates for watching what needs to be watched in a secure location. Again, the cloud streams to an offsite data center, it's a tier four data center, providing the highest level of security for your footage and redundancy for your footage. And uh, we're flexible in how you handle the length. So we can go anywhere from seven days up to, you know, a year, two years worth of retention. Um, it all depends upon the subscription that uh, the customer might need. Uh, the last example we'll do here is uh, for the retail space. Very popular for video surveillance, obviously. Uh, most people, when they think about retail security, are thinking about a couple of things. You have external theft. So you're worried about people robbing you at the location. You're worried about shoplifting, where customers are coming in and taking advantage of the, of the, of the retailer. They're also worried about internal theft. Um, most of the time, when you're putting a traditional security system in place, most people are thinking 14, maybe 30 days of storage is going to cover them for those incidents. You're going to know pretty quick if you were robbed. You're going to know pretty quick if, uh, you know, someone shoplifted you. Um, employee theft is a tricky one, right? You may not be able to catch that within 30 days. The other thing you have to worry about is uh, slip and fall lawsuits. So in any retail environment, there's, a, there's always a, a customer that might be trying to take advantage of a situation where they notice you don't have any employees. They go back. They claim that they slipped. They fell. They hurt themselves on premise. And uh, there's a statute of limitations that can reach years beyond that event. So, you know, for instance, in Texas, there's a two-year statute of limitations. So I can wait till month 23 to file my lawsuit. And that retailer then has to go back and try to say, we have video footage or we don't to prove or disprove what the customer is saying and what, uh, to try to get out of that lawsuit. Um, the other thing is employees may not be there that long. So if you were to put, say, a cloud camera in place in hot topic or hot zone areas, um, you can actually cover that, store the video for the entire statute. You're not having to do an entire camera system which again keeps the cost for the retailer a little lower up front, but you've got one, two or three cameras that can cover this to make sure down the road, they're not losing thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, for a lawsuit that you can't prove uh, if the incident truly happened or not. Uh, to reiterate the security of this, so when you put the video in the cloud, uh, at least with the Cloud VS solution, it is a tier four data center. So to talk about what you give to the customer, you're giving them a service that you typically don't get with an on-premise solution. Um, we do end-to-end -end data encryption. So when that video leaves the camera into a packet form to go to the cloud, we encrypt that stream. Once it gets to the data center, the file system is encrypted. Um, so that video is very secure. And the only people that have access to that file is the customer. Uh, there's a closed door on that system. So no one in our organization or any other organization is able to get to the video unless the customer grants you access or grants us access. Uh, with that, you get three-time data redundancy. So uh, even without asking for, say, a RAID storage solution, you get that automatically whenever you set up a cloud subscription. Um, it's something that you have to worry about. With on-premise recorders, you have to pick a recorder that has that capability built in. Typically, those are going to be your higher camera count, higher dollar uh, units. You can do this on a one-camera basis, uh, two-camera basis, up to, you know, 100 cameras. Uh, it all depends on what the customer needs. Uh, to be a Tier 4 data center, you get a couple of things as well. You get ultra-high availability, so 99.995% uptime. Fault tolerance infrastructure. So if uh, you know you're going to have independent dual power cooling equipment, uh, redundant power, redundant store uh, servers. So uh, the system's going to be online. Uh, make a mistake, it is it is going to be there for you and the customer. The other benefit that the servers allow us to do is because Cloud VS is a centralized system, it's always up to date. And we talk about the length of you know say statute of limitations in the last example. 
most people are not going to review their video on a regular basis. They're not going to look at the system. So therefore, most on-premise systems don't even get updated on a regular basis. Uh, we push updates centrally as they come out. So if a customer perhaps doesn't look at that camera for a year because they don't need to, they have a, a year's worth of storage plan, they get a lawsuit file. They go back, they look at that system. The moment they open the software, we push the update. So uh, they're going to be up to date the moment they open it, regardless of how often they're actually managing or looking at the system. So our second application is for multi-user management applications. Um, this is one of the most powerful features and tools of the Cloud VS system. Because it is centralized, we can easily manage users in one location uh, and we can manage an unlimited number of users. Uh, and the reason that's a good point and a good advantage is on-premise solutions with Alibi are very powerful. We do have user limitations on those boxes. So we can have a total of 32 total users for a traditional Alibi recorder. Uh, with a Cloud VS platform, we can have unlimited users. Uh, and with that, we have the ability to manage unlimited multiple locations under that one login. Uh, when you put a, uh, an Alibi recorder on site, I can create individu individual credentials for each user, but every time I add another location, I've got to go to that box, either physically on site or through a remote connection, and I have to recreate a user credential. If I have to uh, get rid of that credential, I have to go to each independent store. And you can do that from, you know, a remote location, but it's a per box, per location um, at, uh, requirement. Uh, this solution is one console. So regardless if I need to make a user, I just click the box on what cameras I want them to see, and they get access uh, from that one console. You can add and delete those users from any location you grant, um, and it's highly customizable. So you can uh, completely control live view access, footage access, the time of day they can get access and what type of notifications each user is going to do. Uh, very, very simple. So the next couple of slides, I'm going to walk you through the uh, the desktop console uh, just to kind of show you how the user credentials uh, are, are managed or how you set it up. We'll go through these uh, relatively quickly, but so you can kind of get the understanding of how easy it is to manage. Uh, so first, when you log into the desktop client, we have a simple settings button in the top right. So when you click on that button, uh, we'll take you into the user interface. And at the bottom of the settings tab, you're going to see add new user. So click the add new user and it will take you to uh, a credential creation page. So once you're here, we create the credential via first name, last name and email address. So all user credentials are managed via email address and uh, the email address can only be used one time in the platform. Um, that ensures that we don't have redundant access. It also ensures that all email alerting notifications are automatically configured to go to that user. So you're not having to uh, repeat steps later down the road. Um, each user is going to have unique settings. So if you look uh, to the right of each, you'll see right, schedule, cameras, and logs. We'll walk you through each one of these screens real quick. Okay. So on the rights page, you're going to see uh, options here where you can set specific controls for viewing and editing footage, uh, general settings for uh, controls of cameras, sequences when they open up the desktop client, uh, you can allow them to see multiple zones or individual cameras. Uh, we treat cameras as zones. That can be a group of cameras per location or just a group of cameras in general. It uh, doesn't matter how you mix and match that when you create those uh, through the console. Uh, you also have the ability to determine their schedule and notification settings from here. So you can choose to uh, give the user the ability to set their own schedule, take that away. Um, if you want them to get notifications from the system, you can have that on or off. And then you can actually grant the ability to add or edit users or privileges. Uh, this is a big, big benefit to the system. Um, and it's the only system we offer that allows you to create what we call a sub-admin. So in most, uh, most systems, you're going to have one super admin that is responsible for making every credential on the system. Um, what you can do here is you can create, create a sub-user, give them the ability to also create users and privileges for those sub-users. And where that's really helpful is, say you're at a, at a retail location and you have 20 regional locations. In those 20 locations, you're gonna basically uh, have maybe a four or five loss prevention managers that are responsible for a handful of stores. So if I give my manager access to his stores, so first I create his user, he has access to five locations, he can then manage his own employees on who has access, who doesn't, without having to go back to a central admin uh, to, to have to control the entire platform. Um, it makes it a lot easier for a management on a much more granular level. Setting up scheduling um, is customized for every day um, and it's for every user. So in this instance, by default, users have access every day of the week, 24 hours a day. Uh, but if you wanted to restrict that, 
you can actually change the schedule. Um, and it's as easy as sliding the bars back and forth. So on this here, you can basically see that we've got no access on set on Sunday, but on Monday through Friday, we have access, but they only have access to operational hours. That way you don't have people that are off site trying to access it when they shouldn't. Um, and you can change this on the fly uh, and uh, you can give the user permission to do this if you want, but ultimately uh, you can really restrict access uh, on a per user basis like this. Uh, individual cameras can also be chosen. So while we grant all of these permissions, you can still go in and say, I want you to have access to say my home camera, but you're not gonna have access to the marketing camera, sales camera in this example. Um, each zone and each camera within a zone is all, it's all checkbox logic. So you can grant access to a whole zone by checking the box on the zone, or you can grant access to one or two cameras in each zone, uh, but it all depends upon what that user uh, needs to have the ability to see. Uh, the last option in the users page is our log tab. Uh, we have multiple logs. So we have a global log setting, which is the uh, audit trail for the entire system. It lets you see all of the activity that's taking place on a global level. If you notice uh, that you get one user that tends to pop up more regularly when you're looking at what's going on with the system, you can come to that user credential as the admin, go to the log and actually run a log report for this specific user. Um, that way you can see what they're doing, when they're accessing it, uh, what settings they were trying to attempt to change, uh, to see if there's an issue with that user. Um, and which brings us kind of to the next page. Um, if you do discover there's an issue with the user or say a user is, is uh, let go, you can permanently delete the user from the console, they immediately lose access. So the next time they open up the software and try to log in, their credential is denied. Um, if you're trying to do a review, but you don't want to delete them, there's a simple block user button. So if I want to kick them out for a time, time being while I review if there's any uh, suspicious activity, we can essentially click on this block user button and it's going to block that user from having access until I grant them access again by unchecking that box. So it's a great way to make it uh, kind of, you're managing the user, but you're not having to recreate credentials. Uh, makes it a lot easier and faster. Um, if you want to permanently delete the user, merely click by that username, hit the delete button, that credential is now deleted, and again, they get immediately uh, kicked out of the system. So the moment they try to log in via the mobile app or the desktop application, um, it's going to tell them that the credential doesn't exist and uh, they no longer have the right to see anything uh, in the system. So to kind of summarize the, uh, the ideal applications, um, the biggest is unlimited users. So we run into a lot of locations that want to give access to a lot of people. Um, and these, kind of, these two go hand in hand, unlimited users with unlimited concurrent access. So for instance, daycare centers is, a, is a, one of the biggest uh, use cases for multi-user management. Uh, you have a lot of parents, they put a camera in a classroom, they want to grant parents the ability to check in on their kids during the day. Um, you may have 100 kids with 100 parents. Um, On-premise recorders are going to be limited to 32 credentials again. So when you do that, you're going to have to worry about sharing a credential with multiple parents. You're also going to have to worry about bandwidth coming out of the location because in an on-premise solution, you're hitting that box directly. So you're using their upload speed uh, and the outgoing bandwidth of the recorder. So you have to kind of stay within the rules of how many concurrent streams you can have, how much bandwidth you're pulling out of the box, and how many users you can create. With the cloud solution, you're actually hitting the data center. You're not hitting the location. So whenever a parent is given a credential, they're hitting the secure data center. You're only pulling the stream out of the location once. So one, your actual overall bandwidth usage at the customer site is lower when you're doing a lot of remote access because we're only hitting that system one time to get it to the cloud. And we can grant unlimited concurrent access because we're pulling the computing resources and the bandwidth resources of the data center, not the customer's location. Um, again, after that, centralized credential management. One console, one management uh, piece to, to handle. You're not having to go to each location, each individual recorder to manage this. It's all one, one centralized system, uh, which makes it extremely simple, especially in a multi-site environment. Um, so what's in this for you with Cloud VS? So Cloud VS is a way for you to transform your business. You know, most people have thought about video security in a very traditional manner for many, many years. This allows you to now offer video as a value-added service, um, and it helps you build recurring revenue on a monthly basis. Uh, and we try to make it as flexible and easy as possible as we can for you. So you can build on a monthly basis, and you can build your customers directly. If you want us to take on the burden of billing, we are more than happy to build that customer directly for you, and then we will split that monthly revenue with you. Um, we also offer yearly subscriptions, so they can prepay for a year. You can make more money up front by selling that annual subscription, and your billing also gets simplified because you're sending a bill once a year versus once a month. Um, we've got a full price list available online uh, to show your costs on the different subscription models. 
uh, as well as suggested MSRPs, just kind of so you know where the range in the market is for, for the value of the service. Um, so what's next after this webinar? So check your inbox. We are going to be emailing you this presentation, some links to all the content online. Uh, please visit the Alibi Security website. Uh, we have an entire section, again, devoted to the Alibi Cloud BS solution um, with all the information, available cloud-supported cameras, uh, and anything else you may need to find, uh, call, call your account rep. Not just for a live demo, but if you need more information, um, call them. The number here is on the next screen if you don't have it. Um, these guys are, are fully trained, waiting to stand by. They would love to talk to you about the solution. They'd love to demo the solution for you so you can see how powerful it can be uh, to present this to your customers. Uh, so lastly, we'll do some questions and answers. Uh, the first one, how difficult is it to add more storage? Um, it's actually quite simple. So when you think about cloud versus traditional, and traditional, if someone needs more storage, you're having to go install a physical hard drive. So you're going to have to go to the box, you're going to have to power it down, we're going to be off recording for a certain period of time, you're going to have to format that drive, and hopefully the recorder that they have on site has room for more storage. Uh, with the Cloud VS solution, adding storage is uh, as simple as making a phone call and changing a subscription. So if you start with, say, 30 days, and they realize 30 days isn't enough, they can call in, call you, they say, I want to move to a 90-day or 180-day subscription. They just change the license, their monthly bill then goes up to the new price that, you're paying, that they're offering, uh, and then we kick that in and we just start to extend the storage block. So there's no interruption in service, uh, and it happens typically same day they make the request or you know the day after, depending on the time of day, and uh, you don't have to get anybody on site to do any physical work, so it makes it a lot more cost-effective on your part on trying to get down more storage at, at a customer's site. Uh, second here, can I convert current traditional Alibi cameras to cloud-enabled cameras? Uh, Currently, no, but yes, you will be able to. So we are currently working on integrating uh, more Alibi uh, cameras to the Cloud VS solution uh, that is coming in the very near future. And uh, the benefit for you is this. You can install traditional systems today or even systems you've put out there in the past. Uh, you can go back and you can then revisit that customer and try to propose a cloud solution to either augment what they have to give them something that you weren't able to offer before or uh, just to completely transform and take over that system to become a cloud-based system uh, on a full-time basis. Uh, we're trying to make that as flexible and, again, as easy as possible uh, to make sure that this solution is something you can offer to everybody, either for new installs or for past installs. Uh, that's all the time we have for today, so uh, thank you for attending, and uh, please follow up with your sales room.